All right, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's Ellie here. I'm back with part two or chapter two of um Naruto Storm Connections. This one was only eight fights and took me about an hour, roughly. This one's four, so it shouldn't take me nearly as long. Um, let's get right into it then. The damage caused by Orochimaru's plot to destroy the Hidden Leaf was catastrophic. To recover from this tremendous upheaval, the village was in need of a new leader. That honor fell to the Toad Sage Jiraiya, who was also a legendary Sani like Orochimaru. Although Jiraiya had been asked to become the next Hokage, he embarked on a journey to find another suitable candidate. Naruto accompanied him on that journey. At that same time, the village received an unexpected visitor. It was Itachi Uchiha. Rogue ninja of the Hidden Leaf, and member of the organization known as the Akatsuki. It's the clan slayer. Itachi was Sasuke's older brother, as well as his hated enemy. Five years earlier, Itachi had slaughtered every member of the village's prestigious Uchiha clan in a single night, <laughs> save Sasuke. I said. Learning of Itachi's visit, Sasuke left in quick pursuit and came upon him just as he was trying to capture Naruto. Long time no see, Sasuke. Itachi Uchiha, you're the one person I'll never forgive! Okay. <sighs> now why would I do that? No, that's, that's stupid. Touch It's just like you said. What? So so full of hate. I vowed to kill you. That's all I live for. What? No, 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 no,
someone like you. Any connection I have ends here and now. You're nothing but a nuisance to me. This way. You're spoiling my view. Amaterasu. You're spoiling my view. What's bad? This is so stupid. You're spoiling my view. There's no reason to be sliding around like some kind of surfer. You're spoiling my view. Forget it. You're spoiling my view. Damn. I've lived my whole life just so I could defeat you. Dude was starting way too much for me. Not even that serious. Like, all that for a B too. All that for a B. Itachi, Uchiha, get ready to die. <clears throat> You're not strong enough. So they were doing all the sliding in the hallway. All that. Sasuke fought valiantly, but the gap in their abilities was insurmountable, and he fell victim to Itachi's genjutsu, known as Tsukuyomi. Your hate isn't strong enough. And with those words, Itachi departed. But not before also getting the best of Jiraiya, who had rushed to Naruto and Sasuke's defense. It's nice to have goals. I see in the chapters where it's less fighting, it's more of um, 
more of these little silent slideshows. <clears throat> As they trained, they continued their journey to find a worthy individual. Jiraiya had set his sights on Tsunade, a preeminent medical ninja and fellow member of the legendary Sani. Just then, Orochimaru and his devoted assistant, Kabuto Yakushi, approached Tsunade to request her assistance with healing Orochimaru's sealed arms. They tried to tempt her with a promise to resurrect her loved ones. When such enticements proved ineffective, Kabuto wounded Tsunade. It was there that Naruto and Jiraiya intervened. Naruto faced off with Kabuto using Rasenga, a new ninjutsu he had learned during his training with Jiraiya. Your free reign ends here! Are you sure a wimp like you can fight me? Get in my way and I won't go easy on you. Naruto, you're always prancing around saying you'll be Hokage. Let's see if I can say now. What? <laughs> Little brats think life's so easy. That's why they go on and on about their stupid dreams. Never giving up. I won't lose, no matter what! Just looking at you pisses me off. Time to shut you up. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, what? What? Demon, quit off! Whoa! Whoa! Are you scared of me? I don't like running. Says the guy who's been running. No, Bruce, no! No matter how much you showboat, you're still just an adorable little guinea. Kids never know when to throw in the towel. Sometimes it's just better. Now then, I'll just keep pushing. No way I go back on my word. That's my. I've got to do something. This is bad. No, Ruby, go. Okay? Till I become Okage, there's no way I'm gonna die. should act like kids and run away! Enough! Stop it! Leave me! Go away! Don't worry about me. Till I become Hokage, there's no way I'll die! Move 
moved by the sight of such passion, Tsunade found the will to fight once more. Severely wounded in the battle between all three legendary Sanin, Orochimaru and Kabuto retreated. for a leg injury? <laughs> what kind of surgery are they finna perform this dude? If it just fails, this dude just straight up dies. Like, That's how you know your leg's messed up. The medical ninja comes in there and says, Well, surgery is 50% chance. If it fails, you die. Like, uh, I know Gara beat this dude down, but there's no way Sand messed him up that bad. I feel like Hinata got beat up worse than he did. This dude's perfectly fine. Okay, yeah, okay. I need to get back to watching Naruto, honestly. This is about as, um, about as far as I got in my, um, my binge-watching session of the show. And that was well over a year or two ago. I've been a fan of the series for, like, ever, but never really sat down and watched the whole show from front to finish like this one. I love Choji though, probably one of my favorites. Honestly, I love this whole squad. There's no one on this team that I really dislike. With Tsunade assuming the role of the fifth Hokage, the Hidden Leaf embarked on a fresh start, only for a new problem to soon emerge. Lured by an invitation from Orochimaru's underlings known as the Sound Five, Sasuke departed the village.
Together with the shinobi he had competed against in the Chunin exam, Naruto set off on a mission to recover Sasuke. After a grueling mission in which his teammates fell one by one, at long last, Naruto reached the last of the Sound Five. Orochimaru had placed a curse mark on Kimimaro and viewed him as a potential new vessel. However, he fell out of favor after contracting a terminal illness. Even still, Kimimaro idolized his master so much that he was willing to lay down his life in battle to help procure Sasuke. I'll never let you take Sasuke, ever! I'll finish you off quickly. Here what the heck is Orochimaru after? My lord has acquired an immortality, Jutsu. But it doesn't mean his body will last forever. Before his body decays, he has to find a strong, fresh body as a new vessel for his soul. Are you saying he'll use Sasuke's body? <laughs> yes, exactly. No way, not Sasuke! I can't let you do this! No, Ruth, go! Uzumaki, you okay? Mirage! Sasuke Uchiha. He is to be the vessel of Lord Orochimaru. Get out of my way! Straight up, must say. Just then, Sasuke exploded out of a coffin being transported by the Five in a very strange state. While perplexed, Naruto was glad to see Sasuke safe. But Sasuke simply ran away, ignoring Naruto. With Naruto under furious assault, Rock Lee rushed in to save him. Bushy bro, how did you? Do not worry, Naruto. Go get Sasuke. I will defeat him. I promise. Hey, what are you doing? Go now. Right, he's all yours. With Lee taking over for him, Naruto took off after Sasuke. Wonder if the next little thing we'll talk about how Rock Lee is just straight up drunk fighting this dude. Injuries and all. Nope, guess not. We don't get to play that. Okay, so. Not a fan of that, honestly. It skips over a lot of fights that could be here. I mean, it goes straight into the bigger ones. Like, obviously, we need to have this own 
Naruto and Sasuke fight, and um, <clears throat> I guess they don't want to like overload the chapters. Or what did I just do? Wait, dang it. Yeah, I guess they don't want to overload the chapters or whatever. But the Rock Lee versus um Kimimaro fight could have been, you know, would have been nice to see at least in one of these little slideshow things. And the same with the Hinata versus Neji fight, just cut out completely. But it is what it is. I guess if I want to see those, I could go play the older ones, but... And you know. so, he arrived at the final valley, where the two shinobi who founded the Hidden Leaf had once engaged in battle. There, Naruto confronted Sasuke. To save his great friend and rival, Naruto tried to prevent Sasuke's escape. To obtain the power to defeat Itachi, Sasuke had presented himself to Orochimaru, knowing that he would be used as a vessel. While Naruto came to help his friend, Sasuke was abandoning his. Holding fast to their convictions, the two extremes began their decisive clash in the final valley. Why, Sasuke, why? How could it have come to this? I don't understand! I have my own path to follow. No one has the right to tell me what path I should be on. I'm going to Orochimaru. Psycho just wants to use your body as a vessel. You might never come back. No, Ruth, no. Who's lucky? Who came? See, but I always see you I'm not going. You think I'm just gonna sit back and watch you go there? But as soon as I can see the finish, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'll take you back by force if I have to. No escape. No you even think of me as a friend anymore? I know that neither of us ever said anything, but I always thought of us as friends. Yes, it might have only been me who thought that way. But I can't help it. I don't want to see you taken away by someone like Orochimaru! If you try to get in my way, I'll have no other choice. Yeah, Ruth, go! Uzaki, 2K? Why? Why don't you get it? Sasuke! Arise! Why would you go this far for me? feel connected to someone that's why I have to stop you Naruto unleashed the nine-tailed fox's chakra in the hopes of stopping his friend while Sasuke activated his curse mark and awakened its second state let's just end this and all our other battles up to now Naruto! Sasuke! In a clash demanding all of their might, Rasengan dueled with Chidori. The moment had finally arrived to conclude their desperate struggle. But Naruto's feelings didn't reach Sasuke. And he collapsed to the ground in front of him, unconscious. But Sasuke chose not to take Naruto's life. He left in search of a different, superior power to that of his brothers.
And so, the mission to recover Sasuke ended in bitter failure. The struggle between two friends walking two different paths continued on like a river without end. Straight up called that dude stupid. And as always, Naruto stands on his ground. He really was just the best of them all. I, I, I honestly do not think I would have been like that dude. Had I been treated the same way as him, I would have had to be a villain. I, w I would have been more like Gara, honestly. Like, you, they basically ridiculed this dude for being homeless and an orphan. I could not have been friends with him after that. But um, yeah, so far I'm enjoying this game, but there's a lot of minor if you want to call them minor, minor fights that are cut out from each chapter that I would have liked to be in there, personally. But other, other than that, this isn't bad. Um, I guess that video I watched before was right. If I wanted to see some of that stuff, I could have just played the other games. But I mean, I'm enjoying this one. Um, thank y'all for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Probably get right into the next one, honestly.